Yo, what's up, everybody? PK here, and today I'm bringing you guys a... I don't know what the score was. It was a pretty campy gameplay, and uh, I know I've been saying this a lot lately, but I haven't played Call of Duty in a while. I just kind of grab random as old gameplays, and uh, this is one of my first ones back, aside from the Black Ops 1 video. Was, I guess this was like one of my first games back on Ghosts. And uh, it was a bit campier than normal, so I apologize. Now, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank all of you guys from the Black Ninjas channel. If you subscribed or if you just stopped by and you're just checking out to see if I'm any good, I do appreciate the support and obviously thanks to the Black Ninja himself. So, uh, I apologize for my last couple videos where the audio has been messed up. What happened was I got a new computer and none of the audio settings were saved like they were on my other one. So I just went ahead and recorded like everything was all Gucci and it wasn't Gucci and it turned out to fuck me sideways with a baseball bat because you couldn't even hear my last commentary. And the one on Ninja's channel, obviously, uh, I guess someone said that the last three minutes were, you know, overpowered by music, which sucks. But anyways, enough about that. So topic for today is what do you guys think about talking shit in video games, not, you know, in real life. And I'm just talking about in like video games, more specifically Call of Duty. Now, first of all, I think it's great. I think it's fun. I think it's always good to, uh, you know, if you're in a six-man party and you find another six-man party, just talk shit and kind of pump yourself up, pump the other team up, because it's kind of, it turns into a high stakes, no one wants to lose situation when someone, you know, is like, oh, you're going down and something like that. You're going down, I'm taking you to Brown Town. Bend over and I'll show you around. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck, I'm good. Anyways, yeah, it's always fun, you know, it kind of pumps you guys up. It's it's lighthearted in a way. I guess there's sometimes when people start getting super into it or super aggressive about it, they start talking shit like, hey, I'm gonna go slice over, you know, head over to your house and slice open your whole family or something, or slit your throat, or they start throwing out racial slurs. We all know that, but I think when it's kind of, um, I say lighthearted, but it's uh, it's a bit not lighthearted when they say, like, bring it on faggot or something, but I think it's cool. It serves to kind of break the ice between the two teams and kind of make the whole game more competitive. I think it increases the fun factor a bit. I, I guess it can bring down the fun factor if it's like a six full six man party and it's just against one person and they wreck you and they talk shit at the end. I can see how that's annoying, but for the most part, I think it's it kind of makes the game a bit more competitive because obviously if you talk shit you do not want to lose you know I was just playing a game earlier and I was talking shit in the middle of the game because this guy talked shit first so I talked shit and then it looked like we were gonna lose and I was like oh dear god no fucking way on earth am I gonna lose this game and we ended up coming back and winning the game and I said good game just kidding this was too easy you suck and it was funny as hell because he freaked out and started like yelling and it made me laugh even harder but that's I think talking shit is like is funny like that you know it kind of I don't know it brightens up the mood of whoever won if you lost obviously you can never show your face in Call of Duty again you kind of turn off your PS3 make a new gamer tag and you know you know you can't really let it go but if you do win the game just seems a bit more fun and you get to rub it in the other person's face and it's funny and if they stay you can go for round two maybe even round three but um yeah, I personally think talking shit is a ton of fun. I do it all the time. I used to do it a lot. You know, a lot, a lot for no reason. People would join the lobby and I'd be like, Sup, faggot, get wrecked, noob. And then I kind of started tapering off of it during um, MW3 and Black Ops 2. And now in Ghosts, I rarely, rarely ever talk shit in a pregame lobby. After I beat them, that's when I do it. Because, you know, it's safer like that. Because if you do it in a pregame lobby, you always have the chance to lose. But after the game... The outcome's already been spoken, so you can talk shit all the, you know, you can talk all the shit you want. But, uh, I don't really know what this commentary was supposed to be about, but, um, hopefully you guys did enjoy it, and I'd like to know, what are your opinions on talking shit in Call of Duty or other video games? And, you know, go, feel free to drop that shit in the comments below, but, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. This has been PK, have a good day.